This is fifth part of making of chat application in PHP with Ajax jQuery and MYSQL and in this part we will discuss how to make dynamic chat dialog box when we have click on chat button. For this we want to make dynamic chat dialog box for every user, so we have go to index page and here we will use jQuery user interface library for make chat dialog box. Now here we have make chat dialog box function with two argument like to user ID and to user name. Under this function we have write modal content variable is equal to division tag with id attribute is equal to user dialog with to user id variable, class is equal to user dialog, and title is equal to you will be chat with value of to user name variable, so here we this code will generate dynamic name for id and this title attribute. After this we have again write modal content variable and in this variable we have append HTML code like division tag with class is equal to chat history. Data to user ID attribute is equal to to user ID variable and is equal to chat history with to user ID variable. Here also we have store to user ID variable value under data to user ID attribute. An ID attribute value has been generated dynamically. Under this tag it will display chat conversion history between particular user. Now again we have write modal content variable and under this we have append HTML code like text area tag with name is equal to chat message with to user ID variable, ID is equal to chat message with to user ID variable. Here we have generate dynamic name and ID value for each user chat modal dialog box and in this tag user can write chat message. For send chat message we have write append HTML code like button type is equal to button, name is equal to send chat and is equal to to user ID variable and class is equal to send chat. By click on this button user can send chat message and here also we have generate dynamic ID value by storing to user ID variable. For storing jQuery user interface dialog box code under modal content variable, now we have write division tag id user modal details with html method and under this we have write modal content variable. This code will add html code under this user modal details division tag. This dialog box will be pop up when we have click on chat button. So here we have write dollar with document selector with on method. And under this we have write click event with button class send chat. So when we have click on chat button then this code will execute. Under this we have first write to user id variable is equal to dollar this with data method and under this we have write to user id, this code will fetch value from data to user id attribute and store under this variable. Below this we have write to user name variable is equal to dollar this with data method and under this we have write to user name. This code will fetch value from data to user name attribute and store under this variable. Now we have called make chat dialog box function with two argument, 
in first argument we have right to user id variable and in second argument we have right to user name variable this function will make dynamic chat dialog box for particular user for initialize jquery dialog box plugin so here we have write dollar with dialog box id user dialog with to user id variable with dialog method this method will initialize jquery dialog box plugin on web page under this method we have write auto open option set to false and width option set to 400 First option will hide this dialog on web page and here also we have set width to 400 pixel. Lastly for pop up jQuery chat dialog box on web page we have write dollar with division tag id user dialog with to user id variable with dialog method and under this we have write open. This code will pop up chat dialog box on web page. Friends here first we have refresh web page and after this we have click on Peter Parker user row chat button. After click on button chat dialog box has been pop up on web page and here we can see title like you have chat with Peter Parker and below we can see text area field with send button. For chat in text area field we can type and by click on send button we can send message to Peter Parker, here we can chat with multiple user also. So here we have click on David Moore username row chat button and after this chat dialog box has been pop up on web page with title like you have chat with David Moore. So this way this code has generate dynamic chat dialog box which has been pop up on web page and we can make chat with multiple person at the same time. In next part we will seen how can we will seen how can we send message to particular user from this chat dialog box. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.